All right, so there's been a lot of hype over the new transit plugin by Baby Audio and Andrew Huang. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm actually gonna use it in a very interesting way. I saw the video about it and it's advertised as more of like a transition automation type plugin, but also as a multi effects plugin. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a beat from scratch and I'm gonna use it as a multi effect plugin on set instruments. And then once it's all said and done, I'm gonna throw transit on the master and uh, see what kind of buildups and stuff we can build with it. Not sponsored by the way, didn't get it for free. I'm even using the demo version, which they have on their website if you wanna check it out. So let's get to it. All right, so let's lay something down. All right, let's throw transit on it. All right, so there's a lot of presets. Um, I'm gonna stick with the Andrew Huang presets because you know he made this. And then I saw that there's transition presets and effects and drums. I'm just going to a synth, and I'm gonna go through a couple. This one sounds kind of good. Well, I like that. Mad and subtly though. Wait, actually, what if I do this? No, let's add it in subtly. Interesting, because uh, you would think that you could use this as dry wet, which you can, but having this at 100% and then moving the mix knob down here, it's a completely different sound than keeping the mix at 100 and moving this because of all these little macros. As you see, as I turn it, little macro is moving because it adds a different effect. So this is a completely different effect than like halfway. That's why when you do the mix knob down here, it's gonna sound different. I think we're gonna stick with that. I saw that there were some vocal presets, so it makes me wanna add a vocal. So I'm gonna load up Arcade and get a vocal in there. All right, kept it pretty dry. Let's add uh, transit on it. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna pitch this uh, an octave higher. Let's go through some of these vocal presets. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, we're gonna go with this right here. I tweaked it, decided to go with 100% on the transition control with the mix knob at 30. And I think it just sounds really nice, but but I definitely want to EQ it a little bit. Something I did notice that I kind of don't like is that I wanted to add a filter to it without an EQ. I thought I was going to use the built-in filter, right? But I want it to be after all the effects. But the thing is, there's already a filter 12 here, and I can't add another one. It doesn't let you add two of the same modules. So that's the only problem I have the plugin right now, so besides that, it sounds pretty good. You know what, let's throw a uh, transit on the bass too. All right, so unfortunately I had to leave Andrew Huang's stuff. And I ended up finding this boom bass preset. It just adds like this this high end to it that I like. All right, let's, let's listen, I'm gonna put it at 100%. I don't know if you can even hear that, but it has like this little high end to it, but I just pulled it down so I get the body and that little high end. Subtle, but effective. But yeah, I think we're good on the melody. Let's throw on some drums. All right, so here we are in the session. Uh, not mixed, not arranged, literally just made it. Uh, let's check on the plugin. I'm gonna put it on the master to see the transition effects. All right, so here we are on the plugin. Let's see how it sounds. It's the initial preset. Pull 
what's up Okay, okay, that's not bad, not bad. So I, the way I see it is that instead of automating a bunch of these effects on a bunch of different plugins, right? You can just only have to automate this one plugin to get these crazy like transition sweeps and like these like buildups, you know what I'm saying? Real quick, I'm gonna get rid of the 808 here so like it builds up and then the bass and the 808 will drop together. I think the best way to use this is definitely with automation, right? But the best way to demo this is if you hit this right here, like control section right here where you can have it automatically Go. So I have it on four bars. So I want the build up to be four bars long. Now, if I click play, let's use a different preset just so we can hear it. Now, if I hit play, so essentially you can do build ups like that. I also have this setting turned on, which is the FX state at 0%, which essentially everything just hits zero as soon as. Um, your transition ends. If you leave it on, you'll still have remnants of the effects. For example, this delay, right? Actually, I'll just let you guys hear it. As you hear here, this delay is still going. You know what I'm saying? So, so it carries on the tails of the effect. So if you have a reverb, like build up, the reverb will still like, you know, finish out its tail. So let's check out a few more. Let's try this one. Super dope, I'm not gonna lie. This plugin is kinda crazy. But there are alternatives. Um, one that I can think of at the top of my head is storage filter. I've done a video on about this before. I'm gonna have a pop up. And it's essentially the same concept where it's a bunch of effects. You only have to automate this one knob. It's by, made by Slate Digital. Show you what this does. So you do that. You know what I mean? Same thing. But what I like about transit is that you can edit everything exactly the way you want it. Storage filter on the other hand, the effects are right here, but the thing is, you can't really customize them. You just have to click it and hope that it's good, you know what I mean? Um, you can do a similar thing with the auto down here, which is where you, uh, what I was doing before, where it automatically closes the filter and opens the filter, which is pretty cool. Storage filter is definitely a simpler plugin. Like I said, the effects aren't customizable. They're just like set and forget. Whereas in transit, you can really edit every single effect exactly the way you want it. You can know, also order the effects. Storage filter doesn't allow that. It was definitely a more versatile plugin. So after checking out this plugin, uh, I can definitely recommend it to those who automate a lot. You know what I mean? If you catch yourself automating a bunch of these things, doing crazy buildups and a lot of buildups or you know, you make music that needs buildups and swells and stuff like that, definitely recommend checking it out. Now, if you don't do that, honestly, you can definitely forget about it. Um, you could use it as a multi-effects plugin, but there's so many of those that I wouldn't recommend picking this up for that specific reason. But like I said, if you're wanting to do those transition effects, those swells, definitely recommend checking it out. Huge time saver, definitely worth it. But that's gonna be it for this one. Um, if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the beat, Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know exactly what you think, and subscribe for more videos. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help me out a lot. Also, check me out on my social medias and my music available on all stream platforms, all links down below. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. They don't know what it takes for you to chase your dreams. All these sacrifices don't know what it brings. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. Blinded by the lights in the limousines, but all I care about.